So guys, we have our baby bin up here. It's not really a baby bin, but it's a chicken house bin, a small one. He's gonna go somewhere in this neighborhood right here. Well, that's the idea. So, don't really know what we're doing. I got one tractor on this side of the bin, one, my skidster on the other side. We're gonna try to drag it out this way, get it in the general place, and then somehow set it up, and then see what happens. Never done anything like this, so may go good, may go bad. I guess either way, oh well. one point in the season I would have thought these would have been a total loss they wouldn't have ever got over knee I mean, not even too knee high look at these things yeah buddy they are getting with it that rain man that's the key to success in soybeans and anything Boy, since that rain, they have gone to get. They are beautiful. Good morning, everyone. Saturday, September 2nd. Today is dove season, and I'm not hunting, as usual. We've got too much to do and don't really have a good place. If we would have shelled some corn, uh, my mite would have went hunting. Even these things look pretty good. Definitely not as pretty as the other patch, but they look pretty good and they putting beans on, so we keep getting some rains here and there. I believe we'll have something to uh harvest this fall. I'm excited. Um so to give you guys a little um uh, update, last night I cut the GoPro off and we was moving the bin. Um, it was just kind of too much. I should have set it up and just set it up somewhere where it could have watched us. Um, but I was kind of stressed out trying to move the bin because I was trying to do it not destroy the bin. A couple and I were trying to talk over phone so that we could hear each other. Um, so essentially we got the bin moved out from beside the um, combine shed and we actually got it set up upright last night. Uh, it was getting dark so y'all wouldn't have been able to see most of that anyway. Um, we got it set up and we kind of got it slid close to place I've got to finagle it a little bit to make sure it's where I want it and uh, then I gotta level it up and then somehow anchor it down probably gonna drive some long rods or something down into the ground through the through the base of it uh, and then I'm probably gonna run some like cables over to our big bin and then maybe even to our uh, tractor shed to just kind of anchor it it's in a pretty good place it shouldn't be able to get much wind there uh, we just want to make sure it ain't going to blow away. Once we have grain in it, it ain't going to go anywhere. But there's going to be a big portion of the year it's not going to have grain in it. So we just want to make sure it's going to stay there. Alrighty guys. So I've been working up here a little while at the grain bin site for a while. Uh, I left the GoPro in my truck. Uh, so we got our chicken house bin set up here. It's probably going to go in a little further. I've still got to get leveled up. Um, I made me some rods. 
to drive down to anchor it into the ground with. Hopefully I can get them drove in there. Some like three quarter inch ish, maybe five eighths rebar. I will a washer on top. Then I've got a uh, jackhammer that I use to drive ground rods for my electrical business. I'm gonna see if I can drive them in the ground, drive them down through the side beam. Uh, the guy that I bought from put these eye beam feet on it. So everything as far as the auger goes and make sure my trajectory is gonna be correct for the auger. Uh, this auger is one that my grandpa had. Up on that end, it's pretty well eat out. So a buddy of mine told me you can take and get four inch, because this is a four inch auger, you can get four inch PVC and split it. Just take, I took a grinder and cut it down the middle and it'll follow this little track up and this will be like an external shell for it. So I'm gonna try to get it drove all the way up to the top and then I will probably take some kind of like a, a uh, either a muffler clamp or like a hose clamp or something just to help kind of squeeze this. And then I will take and fill this gap in with silicone or something to seal it with. And then I'm going to take, I'll bolt this onto the bottom of our bin. And then the auger will go down in there. And then the bottom piece of the PVC pipe will just slide over this. And that'll be our auger. And this has a slide slide gate on it. I need to pull it up before I put it in there. But then we'll be able to turn the flow of grain on and off right there and then uh, we're gonna put I'm gonna put some type of a hopper switch in that hopper my hopper that we built uh, so that the motor will turn on and off uh, based off the switch so we don't have to sit there and monitor it as much um, so that's the plan if I can get this bin in place today get it kind of leveled out get it staked down I've got some wire some uh, like winch cable I'm gonna run from these corners I'm gonna run one somewhere down here to the building I'm gonna run the other one down here somewhere on the bin maybe at the concrete um, just to help kind of keep it from being able to rack and you know if, if it was to get windy which we're pretty good right here we're down in the holler this building is gonna block a lot of the wind the grain bins are gonna block a lot of wind and those trees are gonna block a lot of the wind so I think we're gonna be fine but I want to make sure we get it anchored I, I'm confident if I can get those rebar stakes that I, I made if I can get those in, I'm confident this thing ain't gonna go anywhere, so. Guys, we got our PVC on here. Let me split it so we can go up that seam. Got it all the way at the top. That ain't gonna leak no more. Our piece that goes on the bin, it was starting to get a little hole in the bottom, so I actually took a piece of PVC, cut it in half, and bolted it in. I put a silk on the ground, make us a new bottom. Got a little hole right there. So everything's painted up. It's plastic, so hopefully that'll give us a good wear cushion for a while. So now we gotta get the bin in place the auger positioned correctly get the auger attached to the pin and see what happens from there all right so here's our uh, rods to hold the bin in place it's like five eighths or three quarter rebar or a uh, washer on it then we'll drive them down for about 10 foot long give or take Bigger than what we normally drive. 
So, we got the bin in place where we want it. We got it anchored down. Our Coleman's still working on that. Um, our auger pitch is not going to be quite right. Um, so, I'm going to take and modify this piece. This is where our auger connects to. Our pitch wasn't going to be quite right. When we put it up there, when this was flush against the bin, this here had about an inch-ish gap. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and cut this out. I'm going to make this pitch a little steeper. That'll allow us to get that auger a little bit higher. And then hopefully that will get us more clearance in the barn. <laughs> 